I want to show you very quickly how to get started modeling in Fusion 360 and what makes this program particularly cool to use. The basic premise is drawing a uh, sketch and then uh, picking elements within that sketch to extrude. So to get started, you want to go to this icon at the top here and create a new component each time you make a new object and make sure the radio button is on for that component that you want to edit or make changes to. Uh, I would also highlight or make the origin uh, visible so you can see the uh, XYZ coordinates. Then you create sketch and start drawing with all the different drawing tools. What I like to do is um, when I make a specific shape I type in a number that I want like 18 millimeters and that will actually allow me to edit that shape if I decide to change it later. Um, it's very easy to do as opposed to deleting it and redrawing it. And once you're finished with the shape that you want to extrude, uh, you finish the drawing and you go into uh, extrude and you pick whichever planes you want to extrude. So here's an example of doing um, some of the planes, but not all, not some of the objects in the drawing, but not all. Create a new body, and um, and you've got the beginning of your uh, your part. The thing that's cool about Fusion 360 is it's designed for manufacturing. So there's some built-in tools that allow you to do pretty complex things very simply. Like for instance, let's say I want to add a a, a camphor to the edge of uh, this part. I can just select the edges I want to edit hit camphor and then um, just drag and drop um, click and drag left click and drag and or type in a number and if you exceed if you do a number or a size or shape that's beyond the model's ability so like I did six millimeter but if I did 60 it gives you an error message right away so you don't have to worry about doing something that with the model that's not possible um, it'll let you know if you've made an error and that's basically it. As you choose a new flat surface to draw on, let's say I want to put a hole there, um, you again hit create sketch on that surface and then you can make a new shape. Let's say I want to make a little five millimeter hole there, <clears throat> finish the drawing and you can also you could either extrude or you can cut. So you can cut a hole there for instance and if I wanted that hole to be a threaded hole for an insert or for a, uh, a bolt, um, again, because this, does, this program was designed for manufacturing, I can do a threaded hole. I select the surface plane of the hole that I want to do the threading to. I model it. And then it instantly, because it's already a 5 millimeter hole, it knows the size of the hole. It knows what kind of threading it should use for an M5 bolt. And it's done. Just like that. And when you 3D print that, it'll come out. Um, and work with an actual bolt. And that's pretty much it. Uh, some tips are that make this also very powerful is there's a history along the bottom of all of the uh, things you did to the model or to, to your model and you can go back in time and undo them. Uh, you can even play them like a movie so you can see how each thing was done. And if you want to make a change, let's say you decided, oh, I made something too small. You can go back to that one element, let's say the drawing, double click on it, and it'll open up the drawing again. And if I was like, oh, I want to make that a bit smaller, make that 10 millimeters instead of 20 or 12, then when I make the edit, it, change, it goes through all the calculations and reapplies all the, all the settings afterwards. And suddenly that that hole is now is is changed size throughout the whole part which is very cool and that's it that's the basics to get started in fusion 360 selecting a plane drawing on it extruding or cutting selecting a plane drawing on it extruding and cutting